picked the Army because I was more interested in that over the Navy, which was offered as ROTC at the university that I went to. Um, and I chose to serve because it was a way for me to pay for my education. The question is, why did I continue to serve for 29 years? And that was because um, I really enjoyed the, the soldiers and leaders that I was working with. Um, I felt that I was making a contribution to the military and to the defense of our country, and I felt like I was making a difference. As we um, come into the month of November and I think about Veterans Day, Veterans Day means to me a time to reflect on um, the history of our nation and the people who came before me in the military that gave up a part of their life to defend our country and the way, our way of life. Um, it also historically reflects on World War I. Um, we're coming into the 100th anniversary of us coming into the war in April of this year, and it'll be the 100th anniversary of Veterans Day um, next year at this time. It's just a chance to thank our vets. Um, you know, Korea, the Korean War was called the Forgotten War. Not a lot of people realize that we had quite a few service members serve there. And then Vietnam, um, there are Vietnam vets or weren't thanked at all. So it's my opportunity to, to thank a fellow vet. Um, and I think it's a good way that American can help recognize the sacrifice of, of those that are still with us who served. So Veterans Day actually was derived from Armistice Day. And Armistice was signed on November 11th at the 11th hour of 1918, and it marked the end of um, combat within, in, in World War I. And as you know, World War I was the war that was called the war to end all wars. Um, because it was such horrific um, carnage, that, you know, they wanted to remember that, hey, we got through this, and as a world, First World War, we always, you know, try to bring the world back together. Armistice Day kind of transitioned more into Veterans Day after the Second World War as a way to honor the servicemen and women who fought for our country and again fought for our way of life. So that's how it kind of morphed. Um, Memorial Day, we're actually supposed to remember the people who died for our country. Um, so a lot of times people get that confused and you know, they'll come up and say, oh, hey, thanks for being a veteran on Memorial Day. And it's like, yeah, you really need to be thinking about the, the ones who gave the, the ultimate sacrifice for our country on that day. You know, just saying thank you. Uh, you see a lot of the guys um, with the Vietnam patches um, or they're veterans from Vietnam. I always go out of my way to say thank you to them because I feel that uh, they weren't thanked enough for, for the contentious time that they actually served in a war that wasn't real popular. Um, and I think, you know, just being respectful um, to the flag, it, it should be something, be respectful to the nation, it should be something that we should do throughout the year, not just one day of the year.